the attorney who sued Bill Clinton for his presidential records that Clinton infamously hid in his sock drawer, is named Michael Bakesha. He lost that case against Bill Clinton. Michael Bakesha is a senior attorney at Judicial Watch, and he joins us right now. Michael, fantastic to see you. Thank you for being with us. Michael, why did the judge in the Clinton case say about Clinton's sock drawer tapes um, what applies to Trump's, but what, what exactly did he say that applies to Trump's battle with the government today? Yeah, so we sued the archives uh, back in 2012 because we learned that uh, President Clinton took um, what we believed were presidential records with him when he left office. And so we wanted archives and the government to go get the tapes and um, turn them over to the American public under the Freedom of Information Act. And the judge there said, hold on, I can't, we can't, I can't order that. And the reason she said she couldn't order it was because the only records that are presidential records are those that a president classifies as presidential and keeps at the White House. So once Bill Clinton decided the records were not presidential records, that they were his personal records and took them with him, there was nothing anybody could do about it. There was no recourse. The Justice Department was in court arguing that they had no duty to go look for records wherever they may be and that they couldn't forcibly uh, require a president to turn over the records. And so it's a different, very different position from what you have the Justice Department doing today. Hmm. So is that why the Presidential Records Act is not mentioned in the Trump indictment? Because if they did use that for the basis of the indictment, that it would be laughed out of court practically? That's probably right. Um, it's a civil, it's just a civil law. It's not a criminal law. And, um, you know, it's funny because this all started because somebody at archives saw President Trump leave with a box um, when he left office. And he said, well, that's interesting. Why would he have a box with him? But as we know, every president leaves with records because every president has personal records. Every president keeps mementos from his time in office. Every president, former president you know, writes a book. And how do you write a book if you don't have documents uh, related to the subject matter? And so President Trump did nothing different from anyone else. The only difference is the Justice Department is going after him after saying in our case that they couldn't go after uh, President Clinton for doing the same thing. 